In this installment of our Asphalt Odyssey, we leave Santa Fe behind to head north to Durango, Colorado. Stop for lunch at a cozy little diner, cross over the Continental Divide, drive through more terrain, justifying New Mexico's Land of Enchantment slogan. Encounter desert-like conditions. Cross over to Colorado where we can see snow-capped mountains, followed by falling temperatures and rain, before arriving in the historic city of Durango. Hey guys, good morning. Uh, hacking up. Uh, got a beautiful day ahead of us. Heading over to Durango, Colorado. Uh, Miriam is inside fixing up some breakfast for us. That's one of the benefits of having an Airbnb. We popped over to a local grocery store a couple days ago. Picked up some groceries so we can prepare breakfast here instead of eating out every day. It's going to be pricey and overly filling. So, yeah. so we'll go inside, have some more coffee, and maybe breakfast is ready. It's only about an hour and a half to Cuba, so it won't be lunchtime. We stop for coffee. Okay, leaving Santa Fe. It's about uh, <laughs> 8.48. Another beautiful day. Period. Even if we weren't riding, but we're riding, so that makes it even better. Heading up to Durango, Colorado. I know I've said it before, but if I say it again, this is a dream come true trip. It's the first ride day, actually, with Miriam. Uh, yeah, I took a short ride from Albuquerque to Santa Fe. It's about an hour, hour ride. Today is uh, promised to be a, a full day of riding. This is also the route that the wagon trains used in uh, years gone by. And navigating this section, they said, was always treacherous. It took a long time for modern bulldozers to bulldoze a smooth road into this lower elevation. It's really hard to really check the depth perception. But uh, it's got to be a 500 foot drop. I should have checked GPS and got altitude breathing before I uh, came down. Just miles and miles and miles of hiking.
Bobby and Margie's Cuban Cafe. Oh, this is a gorgeous ride. We decided to stop in and have lunch at the Cuban Cafe, which is a local icon, having been in business since 1973. Even Bon Jovi stopped in and had a meal a few years back. If it's good enough for Bon Jovi, it's good enough for us. How often are you going to get a, uh, a cheeseburger with hot green chilies? That was the hotel that uh, was on the map for a possible overnight when I was considering making this a cross-country run to California. But that proved to be more complex than I was willing to undertake with my experience level at the time. Just a few miles outside Cuba, we encounter the Continental Divide. And of course, we had to stop for the obligatory selfies. That way, rainwater that falls here goes into the Atlantic, falls over there, goes into the Pacific, eventually. This is east? That's east. That's home. Oh. 2,000 miles. <laughs> well, that's that thunderstorm we uh, left in uh, outside Cuba. Looks like we got some. Uh, looks like we got some uh, rain on the horizon. I'm not sure which way we are because the road just kind of turns and meanders a little bit. Uh, the rain is straight ahead and to the right onto the horizon, but all of it's evaporating before it hits the ground. Uh, aviation terms, that's called Virgo. Anyway, uh, but off to the left, it's uh, it's clear. So I don't know which way the road's going to go. Uh, it's warm, so if we get a little wet, uh, I think it's okay. Hasta la vista, New Mexico. Welcome to Colorado. Did you want to put on your rain gear? You want to wait? Okay. Um, 21 miles. If it starts raining, we'll pull over and put them on. Temperature's dropped 10 degrees since we gassed up just a, a few miles ago. You'd have to drop an awful long way for that to be snow, but that is, that's not an optical illusion. That's snow on those mountains. Well, we are in Colorado now. Well, it's rain. It's a light rain and it's, uh, temperatures now dropped 20 degrees <laughs> in the last 30 minutes. I hope it stays at 69 degrees. And just an hour ago, I was a desert, and the temperature was in the 90s, and now it's in the 60s, and I'm looking at snow-covered mountains. Incredible. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. I think Miriam has perked up some. She's uh, fighting her cold, and she's back there patting my side with enthusiasm.
we arrive in the historic city of Durango, Colorado. Durango is nestled in the heart of the rugged San Juan Mountain. It was built in the year 1880 by the railroad company Denver and Rio Grande Railroad, commonly referred to as the DNRG. Seven years later, the Strader Hotel was built, which will be our home for the next three nights, which offers several restaurants and a saloon, and is also a living history museum. Hey guys, we made it to Durango, Colorado, and behind us is the uh, famed Silverton Narrow Gauge Railroad, which we're going to be riding on this trip. I uh, hope to shoot some video of that. And the uh, ride in was uh, interesting. Uh, it was snow. <clears throat> yeah, it's a train station, a real train station. So we hit, we hit desert. <clears throat> yeah, the red rock it just went on and on and on and on. It's a pretty, pretty open countryside, but it exposed, it got hot, and there was no shade for a good while until we hit the Colorado line. And then it started raining. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and somebody turned on the air conditioning, the temperature dropped to a cool 70 degrees. And dropped 20 degrees in about uh, maybe 30 minutes. Yeah, it really seemed like when we crossed the line. In the Colorado, yeah. And then shortly we saw snow-capped mountains, so it, it just it re changed. It really incredible. was significant snow on the mountains, which is surprising for this time of year. And uh, I wonder what's going to happen when we get down the road in a couple of days to head up the Wolf Creek Pass, uh, heading up to uh, towards Colorado Springs. So, well, that's going to be about it for today's video. Thanks, you guys, for watching. And uh, don't forget to press that subscribe button and press the little bell button for notifications when the next video comes out. Uh, we're going to be putting them up once a week, we hope. So, uh, until then, y'all take care. Bye bye. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. And don't forget to subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment below.